1783. The long struggle for American independence was over. In Paris on September 3rd, a treaty was signed to end the war. Six days later, in Philadelphia, another document was signed, a charter establishing a college on the western frontier at Carlisle, Pennsylvania. It must soon be the first in America. It is the key to our western world. Physician, scientist, statesman, and founder of Dickinson College, Benjamin Rush. The American war is over, but this is far from being the case with the American Revolution. On the contrary, nothing but the first act of the great drama is closed. The momentum is not over. The revolution is not over. We have to live it every day into the future. And by doing that, we are living the spirit of a founder of this country. We stand before as a community an incredible opportunity, and that is to complete the vision, the dream, to fulfill the destiny of a signer of the Declaration of Independence. For Rush, that first in America is the understanding of Dickinson College as an institution that was not just important and interesting unto itself. It was an institution that was to provide a model, be a catalyst for American education in general and its future. That was first in America, and that's a tremendous responsibility and opportunity. This is our time. This is our moment. The revolution is never over. It is always just beginning, and it begins every day and every evening for this college. That's what we have to fulfill. That is our destiny. Let our people be taught in science that it does not belong to himself. Let this thought encourage us to proceed to bigger and stronger. Let him be called to save by the suffrages of his fellow citizens. Let us suppose not to be as part of our citizens. Anything remains to be.